I was here on the island for four years and I realized that uh, I need something that uh, bring me back to Italy in some way. So I decided to do a real 100% Italian restaurant over here, bringing in everything I could from Italy, from the tiles of the floor, of the counter of the bar, from the cutlery, and the plates are handmade and hand painted from Italy. So I, I just want to have a real 100% Italian restaurant. Italian culture of food is something that is amazing. We make everything inside the house, from the pasta to the gelato, to the dessert, to the bread. We bought the machine to make the pasta, so every morning we make the dough, and we, we make our ravioli, uh, fettuccine, tagliolini, all this kind of pasta we, uh, is all made every day. We fly in our, uh, all our cold cuts, uh, they are real Italian 100%, our cheeses, all the wine is from Italy. I'm waiting for uh, to be built the pizza wood oven, so in a few weeks we should be able to also have uh, the pizza oven ready. Also we make every day the special of the day, so also for people that come often they won't find every day the same things. My chef was working for me in Rome. I talked to him and I uh, proposed to move uh, here on the island with me. And he accepted and so we start this journey. And then uh, we have uh, the sous chef that is a very good friend of him. And they are both Italian. Uh, they, they never been out of Italy before of this, this journey. So they are 100% Italian cooker. We have a beautiful daily for the daytime when people is working that they want to come and they need to eat fast, they cannot wait too much. So we have the daily with the setup already, with everything already prepared, so people just ask, I want this and this, and then we put on the plate, and we sit down in 20 minutes, they can go back to work. At night time, we put down the, the, the real menu, so the people can enjoy and relax and take the time to taste the real flavor of uh, the, our cuisine. The happy hour, we, we, we see everybody does the American style happy hour. In Italy, it doesn't work like that. So you come here, you order a glass of wine or whatever, and it comes along with uh, some little snacks, uh, homemade from the chef. They can be from cheeses to cold cuts uh, to bruschetta. So it's a different way. In Italy, most of the people have the aperitivo this way. While you drink in a good glass of wine, to have something to, to eat. <laughs> Having a good dinner or good lunch change the mood of the people in Italy. So if people go out and have a bad lunch or a bad dinner, you ruin their day. So uh, for me, it's the same thing. Uh, I thought that uh, do a real 100% Italian restaurant will make the difference. <laughs>